Hey there guys, I wanted to hop on here and talk to you for just a few minutes about carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids as well as, well as your digital notebook. If we take a quick look at your agenda for the week, you can see that today you're, you are supposed to watch a video posted in YouTube. I did have some technical difficulties earlier, so uh, this video is just now getting posted. Um, you are going to answer a couple questions in a Google form about this video. And then some of you are doing a great job submitting the quizzes about the macromolecule vocabulary already. Tomorrow we will have a Zoom meeting. That Zoom meeting will take place at these various times for the different class periods, as well as a video for you to watch and answer questions. And you're going to complete slides 15 through 19 in the interactive notebook, which is why I wanted to get on here and talk to you a little bit about that prior to us meeting about that inner or that assignment being due. So basically when you talk about the four macromolecules or biomolecules, you have to understand that these are found in the foods that we eat. So I use macro, macaroni as an example because macaroni is chocked full of carbohydrates. Why? Because of the starch, which would be the pasta, the noodles. So if we look at this, we can see on the carbohydrate section, which is located right let me see if I can find right here, uh, 48 grams of carbohydrates in this box of macaroni. That's a ton of carbs. Um, carbs are great in moderation. Uh, carbs are classified into two categories, sugars and starches. Um, the sugars are found in things like your Lifesaver gummies, a uh, quick source of energy um, because they're monosaccharides, they're simple carbs. Things such as your macaroni would be a more complex carb because it's a starch. Harder to break down. Um, so maybe if you're a marathon runner, you eat a lot of carbs the night before your race, and the next day you would get the benefits of these carbs. Still a lot of energy, but it's going to, but you have to use the energy. Here's the deal: if you don't use the energy in the carbs that you intake, it turns to fat. And fat can store in your cells. And once fat stores in your cells, it's very difficult to get rid of. This is also, it also has the fat content on it. Sorry, I'm getting used to my camera. Um, this has, what does it say? Two grams of fat in it, um, which isn't too bad. Um, if you look at this spaghetti and meatball can, if you turn it over, you can see that it has 11 grams of fat in it. It also has a lot of carbs as well because of the pasta. So you can see that are 20, 31 grams of carbs. Um, so the spaghetti and meatballs that you see here is uh, chock full of carbs and lipids. There's also proteins on this can. Proteins would be another macromolecule that we're interested in as we study our carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So I'm going to take us to our Google um, slides, our Google uh, classrooms, I'm sorry, so that we can get into the meat of this lesson so that we can understand a little bit more about what I'm asking you to do in these digital notebooks. So let me minimize this. All right, so if we look at our Google notebook in Google Classroom, sorry, my words, I'm, I'm stumbling all over those. I'm asking you to do, let me go back up so you can see where the beginning of this is. This is the notebook that I ask you to put your picture in. So you guys submitted this in picture form, um, so or excuse me, in uh, completed form last week. So you had your pictures here. This is located in your Google Classroom. If you scroll down to the bottom and you roll back up, it is right here. All right, so I'm asking you to skip through your table of contents, which we will update. This is the expectations for your notebook, which means that you can be creative, you can move some things around, um, just don't be too creative, because I need to be able to um, figure out where things are at any given moment. Let me keep scrolling here. We are skipping over a few of these items since we're not meeting face-to-face -face just yet. And we are starting with this page, which is slide number 15. And if you notice on this slide, this is titled Biomolecules, Not Macromolecules. Um, same thing, so don't panic about that. Um, so we will look at this and, and just know that those words are synonymous with each other. 
So what are biomolecules? And you can see I've already put in an answer here. These are organic molecules essential to life, such as carbs, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids. So you can copy that answer, put it right in that location, and that would suffice. Again, this is something that has to be turned in tomorrow. All right, so characteristics of biomolecules. You're going to go in and you're going to put something like you just double click. See, you can type once you double click. So you're going to go in and put something to the uh, nature of biomolecules are, or macromolecules are organic molecules that are essential to life's survival. Um, they provide energy. They provide support. So you can, you know, elaborate to that nature. Um, what are the four types of organic molecules? Right here, well, I have included those, carbs, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids. You can just put them right at this location. Then in this box, you're going to define, just double click, you see my cursor showed up, and you can define a polymer, and in this box, you can define a monomer. Once you get finished with that, come over to where the toggle is located to the left and go to the next one. Now here, yours looks different. All your stuff is over here to the left and right, so I'm just going to slide it back out. I have completed this one because I wanted you to have a good spot to start, so everything's kind of every, di every different direction, but notice all I'm asking you to do in a digital notebook is just drag stuff to the correct location. So carbohydrates are the first one we're starting with here, and their, their monomers are monosaccharides and their polymers are polysaccharides. They are quick sources of energy and they do provide structural supports for plants, structural support for plants, and they're located in cells, cell walls, plant roots, and exoskeletons like um, when you step on a bug and it crunches. That's, that's carb, that's called chitin, that's a carbohydrate. Um, right here, the heading for lipids did not drag and drop very well, so I think it's behind this, this actual box, so don't stress about that. Just note that I'm looking for fatty acids as the monomer and triglycerides. Important functions. Again, carb, a lipid will give you two times the energy that a carbohydrate will when it breaks down. It's just harder to break down. And then the location, cell membrane. Um, and some organisms, and then in fat storage cells. Your body's full of cells called adipose cells. Adipose cells do nothing but store fat. This one should say protein, so find your gray box over here that says protein and drag it over here to this location. A monomer for a protein is an amino acid. There's 20 of those in your body. So 20 amino acids assemble proteins. They are used for tons of different things. If we did not have proteins, we would not survive. Structure, enzymes, hormones, all of those are proteins. Uh, we drink pre-workout so we can build muscle. So when we work out, uh, all those protein drinks that we drink and so forth. Um, so tissues and muscles are made of protein as well as many other, uh, many other things. And then down here it should say nucleic acids. So over here where it says nucleic acids drag and drop, right here. And then the monomer of nucleic acid is a nucleotide, and the polymer is a nucleic acid. Um, it stores genetic information for making proteins. So without this DNA and RNA, which is what's essential here, nucleic acids are DNA and RNA, uh, you would not be able to make protein. And the location of this is going to be in the nucleus. If you're a eukaryotic cell, that's what that means, EU, uh, which is what we are, you are eukaryotic, and it's in the cytoplasm if you're a prokaryotic cell. So you can pause the video and complete this slide to look just like this and submit it, and it will be perfect. All right, now, you have a few resources you can use to complete this activity. You're going to basically be dragging and dropping the pictures in the correct location. So I'm not going to do that for you. I am going to show you the resources real quick. If you go back to your Google Classroom, I have included a textbook from CK12 into this. You can go to that textbook if you'll go to Section 2, The Chemistry of Life. Once you're in that section, go to Matter and Organic Compounds, and it has a lot of visuals for you. Scroll on through it. Those visuals will help you fill in this particular page.
If you need more resources, you just let me know and I will be happy to help you. You also have the internet in front of you that will help you tremendously if you choose to use it, which I highly encourage. All right, so complete that slide before tomorrow and turn that in all together. Then you're gonna answer these questions on macromolecules. Again, we're gonna to Zoom tomorrow and talk about some of this as well. And then on the last slide that you're responsible for, um, all you're gonna be doing is highlighting the correct answer when you find it. If I can just highlight the correct answer. And then, well, there we go. And then you'll go up to your highlight tool and just choose highlight. And I will get that and grade it. So when it is time to turn this in, which is tomorrow, not today, I will be looking for slides 15 through 19 and make sure they are completed and correct. So don't just turn these in and think, oh, okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna be looking and make sure they are correct. So again, if we go back to our agenda for the week, make sure today that you complete the Google form I'm getting ready to post um, because it will have some questions about this video. And I wanna make sure you have those answered and that will count as your t uh, t attendance for today. I have added the quizzes. Most of you are already starting that. You can take it as many times as you want. Um, I do want you to make an 80 or above on that quiz is. So turn it in as many times as you need to to make that 80 or above. And then I will see you tomorrow in our Zoom meetings. I hope you have a great afternoon.